we have seen in IR drop. Now coming to electro migration. So in DSM design means deep submicron design, electro migration is the mass transport in the metal lines under high current and high temperature. So what are they trying to say? Electro migration is also a uh, major issue now in when we are working at deep submicron uh, technology. Okay, so so we know that high current high current will flow through that uh, our metal and uh, at high temperature so over the lifetime of the chip the electron flow through the wire and collide with the metal uh, atoms produce the force that cause the wire to break like uh, it you can only use that wire okay so that wire suppose that wire life is 10 years okay after 10 years if uh, chip uh, producer is telling that wire uh, lifetime is 10 years means after 10 years you will find some uh, problem in uh, your wire okay because of that heat and electron flow continuous electron flow means when current will flow uh, this is a flow of electron only so because of that continuous electro uh, flow of uh, uh, current in your wire there is a you will get some of the defects okay and because of that defect your wire may get uh, your wire uh, uh, is getting broken okay so this problem is due to the high current densities and high frequencies going through the long very thin metal wires so we know that high density current is going through our uh, wires so because of that this problem arises so electro migration occurs on the power grid and signal lines so power grids you know like uh, power rails where uh, um, suppose you take an example of an inverter inverter in inverter uh, uh, your PMOS is connected to the uh, VDD and NMOS is connected to ground. So that VDD line, okay, that is what they are telling about pow power grids and signal lines. Signal may be any signal, maybe a clock signal or maybe an input signal. So the effect can be eliminated by using appropriate interconnect wire sizing. So you can eliminate the electro migration effect by increasing the size of the interconnect. So that is what uh, they are talking about electro migration. So this is an important uh, challenge in DSM technology. Okay, which are the small geometries and OPC is used to fix the sub wavelength distortion. So distortion is there in you can fix that thing with the help of OPC technology and PSM is used to enable the smaller ge geometries. Uh, now they have explained uh, PSM and OPC in uh, brief briefly. PSM employs phase and interference to provide sh sharper images for improving the optical resolution so with the help of you can uh, with the help of psm you are uh, improving the opti optical resolutions okay more accurate so the phase shifter are placed near each other on the mask 180 degree apart okay so uh, we have to keep that thing near the mask and 180 degree apart so this is something pertaining to interference we have to create some interference patterns so this is a, you can say manufacturing process so just you remember there are two types of method one is phase shift and one is optical proximity correction now coming to one more effect that is process antenna effect so this is also one of the major challenge now in the industry so modern chip technology used plasma based manufacturing for process for itching ashing and oxide deposition to achieve the fine feature size of the chip so uh, already we have discussed how to manufacture the chip means what all the different steps are there in manufacturing the chip so they are telling for itching when we are removing the extra part which we don't want and oxide deposition or when we are uh, uh, keeping a sil silicon dioxide layer on your uh, silicon silicon in that case you have to achieve the means we have to go with a fine size okay so in that case uh, we have to go with this process uh, uh, with these technologies Unfortunately, these process cause antenna effect and is known as plasma induced gate oxide damage. So because of that, I mean, uh, this is an unfortunate effect, like uh, this process cause antenna effect. So because of this, uh, you are having antenna effect or known as plasma induced gate oxide damage. So this effect will uh, damage your oxide, silicon oxide uh, layer. Okay. So the plasma etcher can in induce a voltage into isolated lead stressing the thin gate oxide. So that's I already I, uh, told you that etcher, etcher means with which we have to remove the layer which we don't want. Okay, that is etcher. So because of that etcher, there is a stress in silicon dioxide and because of that you will find this antenna effect. 
so the metal or silicon leads act like an antenna and collect the charges so actually the metal layer is there or a polysilicon layer is there on that some charge is getting stored okay and accumulated charge uh, if more charge is getting accumulated on that uh, polysilicon or metal then it will give you an uh, your oxide is getting breakdown so the process antenna effect directly impact the yield and reliability of the chip so antenna effect how it will